we are going to learn how to play back audio in Cubase. You might think this is very simple. Just hit play. It is actually this simple, but there are a few tricks to learn so that you'll be playing back what you want with precision. There are a few ways you can start playback in Cubase. Press the start button on the transport. Press the space bar on your computer keyboard. You can also press the enter key of the numerical computer keypad. We can double click in the lower half of the ruler. We can even select the audio event called audio 0101 and choose loop selection from the transport menu. There are a few ways you can stop playback in Cubase. We can press the stop button on the transport. Pressing the stop button twice moves the cursor to the beginning of the project. Usually this is bar one. We can press the space bar on the computer keyboard. This toggles between stop and start. We can also press the zero key on the numerical computer keypad. Cubase has the ability to loop or cycle a section of your project. To set the cycle location, you need to use the left and right locator. On the transport, set the left locator to one and the right locator to five. This tells Cubase that we want to loop or cycle between bars one and five. Make sure that the cycle button is turned on. Press start on the transport and now Cubase will play looping over and over until you press stop. There are three different modes for recording when the cycle is turned off. This is called linear recording. The three modes are normal, merge, and replace. When recording audio, normal and merge are the same. Selecting either of these will allow you to record over top of another audio event and it will appear as an overlap. You can then select between the overlapping events and determine which one will play. Replace mode when used will not overlap the audio if there is already something on the track. It will split or cut the audio where the recording takes place, replacing what was previously there. Keep in mind though, that the audio being replaced is not permanently deleted. It is only cut or trimmed away, allowing you to recover it later. Now we are going to add an electric guitar to our bass guitar using cycle recording. Recording with cycle on allows us to make multiple passes of our recording and then pick the best take. Let's add another mono track. You can see now that we have a track called Audio 1 and Audio 2. Up until now, we haven't been concerned about naming the tracks, but let's do this now. Double click on Audio 1 and rename it Bass. Double click on Audio 2 and rename it Electric Guitar. That looks a lot better now. It's always good to name your tracks before you start to record. This way, the audio event will take the name of the track. Since Audio 1 was the name of our first track, the audio event is named Audio 1 underscore 1. The suffix underscore 1 being the first event recorded on the Audio 1 track. We'll show you how to rename your audio files in the editing audio tutorial. Make sure cycle is turned on and set the left locator to 2 and the right locator to 18. This will loop or cycle from bars 2 to 18. Go to the transport and make sure Mix MIDI is selected for the cycle record mode. This will allow us to record the electric guitar and as each cycle repeats, a new take will be created. We will then choose the best take to keep as our guitar line. Press the record enable and monitor buttons on the electric guitar track. Press the record button on the transport panel. As you record the guitar, let the cycle repeat three times so we have three different guitar takes. Press stop when you're finished. We've just recorded three different guitar takes. Now let's figure out how to select the best sounding one. Right click on the new guitar audio event that we just recorded and choose a take from the set to region submenu. Cubase has recorded all of the passes we made when we were recording in loop mode or cycle recording. These passes are called takes. 
In our example, we have three different guitar takes. We can pick between them and choose which one sounds best. Stacked recording is very similar to cycle recording, but with one difference. You can see the takes that you record all the time instead of being hidden underneath. Create a new audio track. Rename the track Guitar 2. Go to the transport and make sure Stacked is selected for the cycle record mode. Press the record enable and monitor buttons on the Guitar 2 track. Press the record button on the transport. When you are done recording, press stop. You should see the recorded audio appearing below each other as separate takes. Click once at the bottom of the Guitar 2 track to resize it larger. This allows you to see the audio takes much better. Deselect the record enable and monitor buttons. The top two are muted, and the bottom one that is green colored, take 3, is the one that will currently play. Mute take 3 and unmute take 2. This allows take 2 to be heard. You can do the same for take one. Continue on to tutorial two, editing audio, as we will show you how to edit what we've recorded using some of the tools.